I am Teresa, an independent pharmacy owner in the Western United States. I ecstatically support the Federal Trade Commission study of pharmacy benefit managers. I have been dealing with unfair business practices from the PBM since I opened my pharmacy in the early 2000s. Every year I told myself it couldn't get worse and every year it did. I practically have to sell my left kidney to get a copy of my own contract. In order to have patients, I have to enter into take it or leave it contracts where they then my patients get steered from me to the PBM's own retail or mail order pharmacies. The Medicare patients I am able to keep, I get exorbitant fees on. In my well-performing pharmacy, I had $200,000 in DIR fees in 2020, which put my business profit at a negative. I regularly have $200 plus $200 plus losses monthly on some of my HIV patients. And this is even before the DIR fees. I encourage you to investigate the take it or leave it contracts, the patient steering, the MAC slash GER pricing or whatever term they wanna call it to avoid legislation, the clawbacks, the many types of fees, how much they reimburse themselves versus their competition and how they use my own data to market for themselves. I encourage you to also look at their spread pricing practices, their rebates, their misleading to employers on savings and prescription spending, and their repackaging at mail order to allow themselves to bill higher prices. Their appalling business practices have gone on too long without oversight. I beg you, please level the playing field so independent pharmacies can survive. Thank you.